Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial of the course Brain MRI Preprocessing Techniques. In this tutorial we're going to talk about MRI image orientation. This is a fundamental topic in order to know how to manipulate the MRI images. We will rely on this when loading images soon. I have taken this information from this website, you can check it out if you want. For this video, we will cover only the basics to operate with the images. So, let's start. Given this reference, each side of the head has a name in the three-dimensional space. In this axis, we can see depicted the right and the left side, posterior and anterior side, inferior and superior side, as you can see, each side is represented by the initial letter of the name of the side. We will use three of these initials to define orientation of the pixels when loading the image. These here are examples of orientation strings. Multiple combinations are possible, but that's it of the theory by now. Let's see in the code how these strings control the orientation of the image. The first thing that we do is import our libraries as usual. Then we print the base dir variable. We have added more examples to execute the notebook, but we will only use one. We will use the first one. We create the path of our raw example. Then we load the image with ants.imageRead. We print out the variable and let's see. If we notice when printing basic information, there is this orientation string too. In this case, it's LPI. Let's see what this means. So, LPI. This means the orientation of the image is L for left to right in the first axis. P for posterior to anterior in the second axis, I for inferior to superior in the third axis. We can use get orientation method to obtain the direction directly as well. Now, let's compare the shape and orientation string. We press enter, and we get what I just described. Each dimension or axis has the corresponding orientation of the initial letter in the string. Let's add the plot of the image in the comparison. We press enter. And we get the image. If we go along the first axis, we can confirm that the first dimension is going from left, from the left of the head, to the right side of the head. So that covers the first axis. The second axis goes from top to the bottom. In the two-dimensional plot, we have posterior to anterior. And in the third axis, it goes from left to right in the two-dimensional plot. This is from inferior to superior. Let's make a recap. The first dimension corresponds to the slices we go along. The second dimension corresponds from top to bottom in the two-dimensional plot. And finally, the third dimension corresponds from left to right in the two-dimensional plot. But this is so because the orientation string is L by I. What about if we want a different orientation? Let's try another, IAL for example. This string will arrange the pixels from inferior to superior in the first axis, anterior to posterior in the second axis, and left to right in third axis. We must use the reorient parameter when loading the image to define the orientation string we want. We will print the same info as before. And let's see. So now, if we go along the first axis, we will see the orientation is inferior to superior now. 
that's great. In the second axis, we're going from anterior to posterior. And in the third axis, we're going from left to right of the head. We can play changing the orientations as well. Let's change the first letter I by S, for example. And now, uh, it seems it is the same, but if we go along the first axis again, we will see that the orientation is inverted. Now we're going from superior side of the head to the inferior side. Let's change the string again. For example, a P here. We have now posterior to anterior side. Great. And you can play with different combinations. By now, we will stop here. Now you know how to load MRI images with Unspy and controlling the pixel orientation. So that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.